So how'd you come up with this design? Uh, I base a lot of my work off of the Serape blanket, which is a Mexican Southwestern style tapestry. Um, I kind of turned it into my own piece though, and kind of deconstructed it and just like put it back together with my own style, um, more abstract. But uh, I like to create movement and energy um, on a normally dead space. So uh, when we first came here, the space was pretty uh, littered and um, a lot of a lot of spiders and it just it wasn't a nice place to be able to walk through and uh, but it still had a lot of high traffic so I think uh, by doing this um, people will find more ownership in this space when they are walking through it and uh, hopefully they'll take a little bit more care and uh, you know pay more attention to these areas. work with these colors a lot or do you are there there ones that you favor more than others or because there's a lot of colors going on here yeah so um, if you if you were to look at the referenced blanket that I'm talking about it it's it's a lot of the same colors um, I I tend to use these types of colors but I also kind of jump around a little bit um, because I am out of state right now I, I want to give the people something that is recognizable to my style so I kind of just uh, gave them like the greatest hits you know right yeah how old are those blankets like that style well how back do you know how far back that tradition goes it's probably a while I right? have no idea I know that I mean ever since I was a little kid you know I've yeah. always seen those blankets and uh, my grandmother actually uh, made a lot of those blankets when I was younger and um, you know it's just that uh, nostalgia of seeing that on a wall um, it kind of brings me back. Is that New Mexican or Mexican? Uh, it's maybe. Well, both. I mean, the whole region of the United States is like old Mexico, basically. <laughs> right, yeah. You know, so yeah. it's just kind of like yeah, that Mexican Southwestern style. Right. Yeah. Totally. So this is the first time here. It's like, what was your experience like? Just coming to Battle Creek, to Keller the Creek, all that stuff. Yeah, uh, Battle Creek is beautiful, and um, I'm very honored that you guys were to send me out here. Um, you know, uh, during these uneasy times where we're kind of not sure what's going on. Right. Yeah, so, uh, you know, just to be on the list of, the small list of artists that were brought out for the Color of the Creek this year, you know, it's a, it's an honor, and I really appreciate the people here. Um, I got nothing but good things to say about Battle Creek, and everybody here is just good people, and I hope to come back soon. It's interesting how you, like, you come here, Jay comes here, Vile comes here, Blue comes here. You guys are already working, like, big stuff in other cities and then you guys meet up in this sort of small city it's kind of fun to see everybody do work because you can walk around and see everybody's work and then they can see yours you know it's like kind of a unique thing for a small city anyway yeah I, I'm I'm normally a community based artist um, but in Denver there's a lot of s smaller communities um, that we uh, that we tend to work with a lot of low income communities you know we're we're on the streets, we're a grassroots organization. And uh, I feel like over here, the whole city is that community. And so it's still the same, it's just a little bit more spread out. But um, yeah, I, I, you know, just being able to have all those people come out and help with the, the piece yesterday, um, you know, I, it's just nice to see how other communities work together.
shot with my own eyes. It's so <laughs>